This is Eldoa L5S1. We're gonna decoap and create space in between L5, the last lumbar vertebra, and S1, the first sacral vertebra. I want you to start in this position so that you already have your sit bone touching the uh, wall. This is very important. From here, lie down in a fetal position, keep the sit bones on the wall, and then you swing your legs up so that your sit bones are touching the wall and your legs are straight and perpendicular. If you're not feeling the sit bones touching too much, just scooch forward a little bit so you get there close to the wall. Now here I want legs parallel, hip width apart. And already this position is really nice and relaxing. You can hang in there for a little bit and just have your body relax in this position. Afterwards, we start getting into the real exercise. I want your legs extended, feet and ankles in dorsiflexion with the toes falling down into your stomach, basically. If the heels come off the wall, that's totally fine. Now here we go in pseudo-inversion, so we're gonna um, supinate the feet a little bit as you do dorsiflexion, and the toes are pulling in a little. Now, from this position, maintaining the knees extended, you go in internal rotation with the legs a tiny bit, and we're gonna rest the hands on the lap. So let's recap what we're doing here. The heels are reaching up towards the ceiling, the knees are pushing into the wall, the tailbone is pushing down into the floor. So you're already decoapting and creating a nice tension, a nice spiral happening up your legs. Your spine is nice and long, the chin is in, and you try to lengthen the neck as well to have a nice axial extension. Now that we're staying in this, we'll be staying in this position for a little bit, we're gonna work and add the upper body to complete the exercise. You're gonna lift the arms, up to the ceiling, bring the wrist in dorsiflexion and the arms in external rotation. Once you have this placed right, you bring the arms back so that you bring the biceps by your ears and you push back with the heels of your hands away from you. So now we have the arms and the hands pushing back, the chin in, the eyes looking down, the tailbone down onto the floor, legs in internal rotation and heels reaching up towards the ceiling and you push, push, push hard in all direction. Don't forget to breathe. Keep breathing very nicely and consistently. Don't hold the breath and push, push, push away very, very hard. Never give in. Then slowly we start releasing the arms and we bring them back to the lap. You release the neck. You slowly release the ankles. And you, before you get completely off position, I want you to bend your knees and to stay here for a couple of seconds. And then slowly you're gonna roll up to sitting. You can always come over to Fitness Membership, find out more about fitness, find full length videos, feature guides, and a community that gets together once a month. I would love you to be part of it. I'll see you there.